So that's good, it's recording. Let's get started. And we're gonna get Bruce Lee up on this thing here. Uh, right. So when you start up the console, you hold the power button down for about three seconds and it starts up like this. Comes up to this menu. Right, we have this R1 and L1 button cycles between the different sections at the top. You've got applications, okay, you've got emulators, got games and settings. And there we go. Right, now it's the Atari 800 emulator we want to use, which isn't on this menu here. I've installed it onto an external card, which is plugged into the bottom there. Now we go to applications and we use this D-pad here to select the application we want. Uh, Ding UX Commander, there, it's a file manager, that's what we need. So once we're on that, we press A. Now, we move up and down the files there, but the one we want, we have to go up. So we go and highlight this one at the top there, and we press it. And we go up again, and we press it, and we go up again, and we press it. And now, there's a folder called media. Okay, we have to press A on that and press A on Anbinic and the Atari 8-bit emulator is listed there. Press A and the third one down says Atari 800. We press A on that. And then it says view or execute. We go down, we press on execute and wait for it. It brings up the Atari 800 as we know it. Now we'll press select up here to bring up the menu now we have to put the discs in, we have to we go up and down the menu, go to disk management, press A on that. And we've got the disk drives there, so D1, we press A on that. And we have to select the file, go to Ambernic, go to Atari 8-bit ROMs, go to DOS menu. That's your first disk, go down, press A. And we go to games, whichever one we want. We like games too. Press A on that. And then we press, I think it's L1. Goes back to this Cesare menu. And then if we go down with the D pad to re reboot cold start and press A on that. And up comes the Atari emulator. That's what we're familiar with. Now we want to load Bruce Lee, but there's no keyboard on this. So we press this button here, R1 it brings up a keyboard press it again and it takes it away so we want that now Bruce Lee is game number P so we'll bring it on we we'll go across and highlight the key that we need to press with a little blue square with we'll highlight on P and then press the A button and it loads up Bruce Lee and there we go now, of course it's all set we we'll need to press start to start the game so bring the keyboard up again up along the top here our help start select option and reset just like on the Atari so we go to the start button press A on that and quickly take the keyboard away and we're there ready to play Bruce Lee and there we go we just use the d-pad to move him about let's wait for Greeny to drop to the bottom there he goes and there we go um, I think the X, no, this Y button here pauses it, which is great. Okay, and as we know, there's that, there's that using the D-pad, everything works as it should. And we go and get the lanterns. And that's it, when we're finished with it, if we want to get back to the Atari menu, we press that. But once we change discs and things like that, so we'll go to D2, we'll put games three in there instead. And we press L1, and then, and then we go to reboot, cold start again. And then choose again one to load. When we're finished with it, we want to come out of the Atari 800 emulator, the power button there, and the select button. We have to hold down the power button and press the select button and that should take us back to there. Okay, that's it.